Welcome everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. Happy Sunday morning. Uh, my name is Dave Karlikar. Along with me, I have uh, Ravindra Pandey and uh, he's our Python trainer. Uh, we welcome you at another exciting introductory session. Today's topic is Python data science. What you see on screen is primarily the flyer and a brief content. What we will be teaching on behalf of this training course. Okay, it has email, phone number, as well as briefly week by week learning of the topics. Uh, it's just a brief itinerary. It will go by deep diving in each of these topics and subtopics. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you all for giving your time over the weekend. Uh, let's move on to the next slide, please. So about Guru Schools, uh, we are in the business of IT training, consulting, outsourcing since 1999. Every year, about 20 different technology track, we provide you with learn and earn opportunity, meaning training and placement, okay? Out of these 20 some courses, about 15 of these courses are functional in nature where you do not require any programming knowledge and the other five or six of them are techno-functional. Some programming knowledge is required, okay? Uh, these trainings are 24 by seven in nature. Say for an example, if it's an eight week training, which is a two month training, that training gets repeated five or six times in a calendar year, okay? Every week we host seven sessions. There will be three technical sessions for the track which you enrolled in. Say for example, three sessions on Python data science. There will be two sessions on RRRP, Reference Ready Resume Preparation. What I mean by that, the RRRP team for the last 24 years have prepared resumes for over 7,000 candidates just like you, trained, prepared their resume, placed through our client and their projects. So we have over 7,000 successful employees and their job is to basically spoon feed you, guide you towards your resume preparation for that particular skill sets by referencing to our clients, by referencing to the domain, by referencing to the roles and responsibilities and the whole nine yard. Okay, uh, this is the heart line. So the RRRP team along with the trainer will be guiding you towards your career profiling, resume preparation, clients, references, what to write, what not to write, and looking at our current client, past client, current employees, past employees, you will be working towards your resume. And there'll be two job placement sessions. Job placement sessions, primarily our sales team, they engage with our Fortune 5000 clientele, the global outsourcing partner companies like Accenture, Capgemini, Atos, Virtusa, the Indian outsourcing partner companies like TCS, Infosys, Wipro, Cognizant, HCL, Tech, Mahindra, Persistent, Birla Soft, or the US Canadian preferred vendors like K4, Skelly Services, Modi, Elizan, Manpower, Expedis. Uh, we have prior relationship, vendorship agreement, signed MOU with them. We continuously get requirements on one hand, being directly working with them. And on the other hand, since pandemic about 480 to 550 people we are training. So we have those resume on the other hand and we are doing the matchmaking. Okay, throughout the year, since 2020, about 480 to 550 people, about 45 
people we are enrolling a month. That's about 550, 540 people in a calendar year. Okay. Uh, you will be going through a lot of learning. As I said, seven sessions a week, 30 sessions a month. If it's a two month course, 60 sessions in two months. And you can always repeat that learning as many times as you can throughout the year. Okay. Next slide, please. These are some of the courses. I'm not gonna spend uh, time going individually. All of these things, basically you can avail on our training company website, www.guruschools.net. I repeat, www.guruschools.net. Or if you are in our Candidate Career Counseling WhatsApp group, you will see a YouTube link for these courses. It's basically plug and play. It helps you understand A to Z as to what you're getting into. Okay, in terms of the course curriculum, week by week learning, what are the prerequisites before enrolling for that course? What is the average compensation for that training skill set? What's the career progression? What kind of an uh, other certification you will be doing along with this course? How many jobs are available in US and Canada? And many other FAQs will get self-answered by watching these videos. Okay, so again, the best option for you is either through the WhatsApp group, go through this different learning or from our website, watch the other courses and see what closely aligns to what your interest is. Next slide, please. These are what our technology training areas are. Okay, next slide, please. Being in Jersey, again, we have, you know, biostatistics, clinical trial data management, SAS, uh, simply because uh, Jersey is full of life science and pharmaceutical domains. And, and that's where uh, these are very niche and which are industry specific courses. Next slide, please. Uh, about us, as I said, we are in the business since 1999. Uh, we have different companies. Uh, we have a training company, uh, IT consulting company, healthcare IT company, digital company, outsourcing company. Again, all of that on our website. Uh, we're also product partner for various technologies. Say, for example, uh, Scrum Alliance partner company, IBA partner company, Salesforce partner company, UiPath partner company. Oracle partner company, Microsoft partner company, and so many other open source product partner company. The beauty of uh, becoming a product partner is, uh, depending upon the level of partnership, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, of course, you're paying uh, thousands of dollars for product partnership, but that enables you uh, from the product partner company that you could certify X number of people as a part of the product partnership, you will also get small, small SOW project work. Many of these projects work basically is a part of your learning and earning. Something which you will be doing live while getting learned, as well as something which you will be updating in your resume because you're working on these live projects. Okay. By becoming a product partner, we are creating a focused vertical in each of these technology vertical of product partnership, you will see 30, 40, 50, 80, 100, 120, 140 candidates. Some of them are working, some of them are finishing the project, some of them are starting the project, some of them are preparing for the client interview, some of them are preparing for the vendor interview, some of them are revising the, tra uh, the training, revising their resume, and there will be someone like you. So there's a constant knowledge transfer, which you will be availed along with the trainers, 
also this 30, 50, 80, 100, depending upon how big or how small the practice is. So you are not struggling solo. You are basically having floaters and these consultants, senior consultants, meaning the senior uh, employees, candidates, will be guiding you in every step of your journey towards learning as well as earning. Everybody holds everybody hand. So basically, nobody is left behind. And we work in 24 by 7 mode. Those who are in our career counseling group, you must have seen the communication flowing 24 by 7, seven days a week. Today is Sunday. And we are talking to you. That shows. Don't Drumsticks. Drumsticks. Please stay muted. Thank you. That shows our efforts towards you and we are here to help you. Being customer service business, the beauty is the people make or break any organization. Okay. We take pride in saying all of our clients, the Fortune 5000 clients or the global outsourcing companies or the Indian outsourcing companies or the US or the Canadian vendors. We have acquired these clients because of our employees, ex-employees. Is they who basically worked with their hiring managers, told them about our organization and which has helped us towards acquiring that client. Even today, about 38 to 40% of our enrollment comes from our employees, ex-employees. Those who came with me back in 90s, first, we trained them, we placed them. Later on, their spouses, then their siblings, close relatives, extended family members, friends, acquaintances. And for many of them now, you know, the children are in early or mid-20s and we are helping them towards their career. So it's pretty humbling to see uh, over two decades of journey and now the second generation also we can make a difference. We appreciate that confidence. We appreciate that faith and trust. Life is all about relationship. Life is all about trust. And because we work cohesively, collaboratively. Everybody plays to win. And it's like the king with the Midas touch syndrome. Whatever you touch turns into gold. For a simple reason, the senior consultants and the consultants will always will be helping you, guiding you in every step of your journey. They are senior today, but a couple of years ago, they were just like you. And they got that mentorship from their seniors. So it's an art of giving and helping each one. By working in a focused practice areas, by having 30, 50, 100 people, and by working in a 24 by 7, you have the help at your fingertip, provided you ask for it. And by helping you, even these consultants, senior consultants are helping themselves. Because these are all billable resources. Okay. Uh, so being a product partner for various over dozen of uh, different products does help us towards creating that niche, towards adding that value. By working with several universities and many of the local businesses, and also many organizations uh, also helps us towards getting a lot of projects. Many small vendors, associations, doctors' organizations, retailers' organizations, by managing them, we manage their websites, their digital marketing efforts, their ongoing support, product support. And these projects are part of your learning also. So it's not a mere theoretical 
learning, it's blend of theoretical as well as practical learning. Okay, next slide, please. So the question comes in, how are we different than those dime dozen universities, training institutes, and how differently can we help you? Well, uh, post pandemic, suddenly it has opened the marketplace of a lot of people, particularly females who otherwise had to sacrifice their career, post marriage, post motherhood, for taking care of the family responsibility, chores, children. Pandemic is a game changer. Everything is remote and anybody and everybody can learn and earn. That opens a floodgate of opportunities because even in normal times, uh, organization like us, we used to take about 240, 260 students and we were placing them throughout the year. These days, north of 500 people every year we are taking since 2020. Okay. Uh, and we appreciate uh, that increase in the business. Not only we can make a difference to those 500 plus people's life, plus it's an opportunity for us also to make big money. How are we different than these universities and the training institutes is what you see on a screen. Okay. The university and training institute is in the business of training. Okay. They make money by selling you each and every module, each of every training areas. The focus is not on a placement because the day you get a job, they lose you as a customer. It's counterproductive for them for you to get a job. Whereas a consulting company like us is more keen on your placement. Unless you make money, we can't make money. So we want to place you like yesterday, whereas the university and the training institute is more keen on selling you more and more training videos all your life. As a wise customer, consumer, student, you should look for what's in your interest. How will you get a job? Are you a product partner? Do you have projects? What kind of clients you have? Do you have the sales, marketing, talent acquisition, HR team? How big is your organization? All of these questions should come to your mind. Not only should come to your mind, you should be asking it to them. And irrespective of what the answer is, in 2023, using Google, using YouTube, using LinkedIn, and using you know, all of the responses which you see on a digital platform, you can make notations and go with it. Say, for example, if you want to see the Python data science track, then you should go on YouTube. Say, for example, uh, search for Guru Schools, you will see three, 4,000 videos. Look for the Python data science track, look for the communication, look for the presentation style, look at the content and go from there. If you want to see what kind of an employees we have, then maybe you can look at, if not our website, then on LinkedIn, because LinkedIn, you will see employees. And accordingly, you will come to know what kind of focus practice areas we have, what kind of an employees we have, and things like that. Plus, many people will leave a feedback on Glassdoor, on Google, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, and by noting them down, you will understand more about that organization. Plus, many of you are in the career counseling group. Look at the communication. Look at the enrollment. Are people enrolling? What courses are they enrolling? Look at your experience with the HR, customer support people. Look at the efforts put in on a daily basis, weekly basis. And these are the telltale signs, how involved the agency is with you, for you, for your career. Okay. 
how are we able to make a difference well there are six ways we help you the major difference between us and the university and training institute well we are neither university nor we are a training institute we are not here to make money on every video we sell you these universities and training institutes because they are there to make money most of these videos are recorded 112233 year old recording many of you will agree with me the technology landscape changes every 3 months 6 months every 6 months 12 months there is a new release there is a new upgrade so if you are going by this 2 3 years of stale video basically it's an outdated learning and because the intent is not to place you it doesn't matter to them but it should matter to you so you should be getting that learning and that guidance the current learning and guidance not a two year one year six month old video which is very important it needs to be interactive it needs to be live it needs to be an experience working professionals of that particular technology so there are six ways of we helping you many of these universities and the training institute you will see only for python data science they'll charge you 1000 2000 5000 10000 dollars only for 3 months or 4 months of course but any tom dick and harry can train you i mean we have hundreds of videos on python data science so why to go for their still recording just watch our hundreds of videos of python data science that will give you good understanding about python as well as data science ai machine learning but to get a job you need something more than the training so six ways of we helping you number one instructor led interactive live training like this session is live interactive led by an instructors same way each of our session is led by an instructor on an average our trainer has at least 15 years of work experience working in it well we have many senior trainers like say for example ravindra sir has more than 28 years of experience but on an average the median age of our trainer is about 15 years these are working professionals they have global experience and they are basically giving you a blend of this theoretical and practical learning seven sessions a week three technical sessions so say for example three sessions on python data science two sessions on the resume reference ready preparation so the rrrp team reference ready resume preparation is working towards your resume build up ensuring whatever the client vendors are looking for all those bells and the whistles not only you have been taught not only you have been working on their internal projects but is also been mentioned in their resume lastly two job placement sessions so our sales marketing talent acquisition hr team 24 by 7 marketing your resume through our direct clients global outsourcing in and outsourcing us canadian vendors and getting your resume shortlisted interviews offer and placement the second pillar is course completion diploma certificate after toiling 2 3 4 months of training learning uh, technical training rrrp sessions training job placement learning you are awarded a diploma certificate something which you can write in your resume something which you can mention on your linkedin profile something which you can mention during the interview that you have a focused diploma certificate or certification in so and so technology like python data science successfully completed diploma in python data science that adds that feather in your hat for many of you after 5 10 20 years of gap you are 
doing something meaningful towards having an IT career, when your education is outdated, when the confidence is the rock bottom, getting that focus, learning with accredited diploma adds value to your candidacy. The third pillar, reference ready resume preparation. That's basically the core of our organization. This is where the magic, the makeover, the change management happens. The RRRP team, along with the trainer for the last 24 years in the business of learn and earn, over 7,000 successful candidates we have trained and placed. This RRRP team knows what the vendors, clients are looking for accordingly. You're teething into our current projects, past projects, live projects. Based on that, you're working on your resume preparation, identifying and filling in those gaps, the technology inclusion, the client inclusion, the domain inclusion, the roles and responsibility inclusion does add the required bells and the whistles to your candidacy. This is where your career is born. This is where your candidacy is born. That's where with that added bells and the whistles, suddenly you are igniting that career-driven mindset flame. The fourth pillar is vendor interview preparation. Uh, whether it's our direct client or global outsourcing vendor agencies or Indian outsourcing vendor agencies or US or Canadian vendors, it's all relationship, relationship, relationship. We have been servicing them for more than two decades. You're not the first candidate getting submitted to them. We are a minority-owned business. Because of our status, they are mandated to give us business. We have a product partner company. Because of that, whenever they have a difficulty identifying resources for certain products, they fall back on us. For the last two decades, like you, they have taken over 7,000 consultants. So they understand our learn and learn methodology. With learn and earn methodology, you are fully backed by the performance guarantee. And hence, they are submitting you to their client. Because of the trust in us, because like you, they have taken hundreds and hundreds of consultants every year. That's the fourth pillar, because many of these projects, we have to go through these outsourcing partner companies. The fifth pillar is client interview. Now the same vendor who has a global outsourcing for this Fortune 5,000 clients have hundreds of people working on-site, off-site, near shore, offshore. They will get the question from them, someone like you working offshore or off-site. That question, our sales and marketing team, talent acquisition team, will give a copy to you, copy to the trainer. The trainer who's engaged with you from your day one of your learning, all throughout your learning, all throughout the RRRP team members' resume preparation efforts, now will again kick in and will guide you, mentor you towards answering to those questions. I mean, before the exam, if you get a question and the answer, and if it's a remote exam, open book exam, you can make the required notations, you can make the required bullet point answers, whether it's a phone interview, web interview, you will come out with the flying colors because you're not going blindfolded. You know exactly 80, 90% of the time what the questions will be asked and what answers to be given because you have already done the dress rehearsal. You're having a leg up vis-a-vis -vis to the other competition candidates going blindfoldedly. Okay. So the platform basically works in your favor uh, because you have the questions and answers. Obviously, you will get a job, which is not a big deal. That's the fifth pillar. Uh, but how to keep that job? That's very important because if you drop the ball, not only it's a pain in the neck for you, 
we also get a tight slap on our wrist for non-performance. So consulting jobs, manager looking at your resume and that half an hour interview will bring you and now it's up to you to keep that job. Again, you're able to keep that job because you're part of the focus practice. Whether it's a 30 people team, 50 people team, 100 people team, these consultants, senior consultants are basically spoon feeding you on a day-to-day -day basis as and when you're stuck, as and when you need the guidance along with our two trainers. These are what the six pillars are. Instructor-led interactive live training, seven sessions a week, 30 sessions a month, 365 sessions in a year. Every day, you will lose a session if you're not part of our academy. Course completion diploma certificate, the second pillar. Third pillar is the heart line. That's our offering, the core offering. Reference ready resume preparation. Fourth offering is vendor interview preparation and your interview clearance. Fifth is client interview preparation and when interview clearance. And the sixth is six months of project support. You will see these universities and training institutes for a, just for the videos charging you a couple of thousand dollars, two, four, five, eight, ten thousand, depending upon your vulnerability. Avoid spending even a penny. All you can do is go through our YouTube channel, watch those hundreds of videos. But if you're looking to get a job, then you have to do something more than the mere training. You know, it's easy to watch how to swim on a television, get in the water, float and flip your hands and legs. It's easy to watch on a television how to ride a motorbike or how to drive a car. But unless you are backed by the practicalities, you know, you're heading for a disaster. If you're a consulting company with a strong training division about those 20 focused areas. So we are not limiting ourselves for a mere training. Well, to begin with, even this training is theoretical as well as practical. But we are also working with you throughout the six pillars. All of this will be free for you if you were to complete the training and work on our project. Meaning, all of these pillars cost money, right? Training, couple of thousand. Certification, another $500. Preparing your resume, at least $1,200, $1,300 resume with the references. Vendor interview preparation. Again, there are experts who will be guiding you and we have to pay these experts their invoices. That's another five to seven hundred dollar. Client interview preparation. Again, multiple people are involved, including the trainer, and they are you know, offering another service. So they will be raising us invoice, and in most of the cases, there'll be at least two trainers. Like here, there'll be Ravindra sir as well as Arun sir. We had to pay them for their services, and then comes the six months of project support. Every month. For the first six months, you're getting project support for free. So again, they're sending us invoice and we have to pay for it. So if you're not paying, then who is paying? So as an organization, we are investing on your behalf. Because otherwise it's very expensive. Plus, there is no uniformity and consistency. Somebody's training, somebody's certifying, somebody writing your resume. Somebody tries to give you references. Somebody is then trying to help you for the vendor client interview. And then somebody may give you project support. The right hand doesn't know what left hand is doing. Too many cooks spoil the food. Here what happens is the same HR works with you from your enrollment, throughout your learning, throughout your project placement and earning. Is the same Trainer works with you throughout your learning, throughout your RRP preparation, your interview preparation, and your project support. They know all of your strengths and weaknesses, you know, in and out of our trainers. And along with the trainers, 
you have this 30, 50, 100 member senior consultants who are like your siblings, elder siblings. And they're also guiding in every step of your journey. Whatever those requirements are, resume preparation, vendor interview preparation, client interview preparation, project support, all of that, because they are doing it themselves. So that's a, always a group guidance. So you're looking at other people's mistake and ensuring you're not committing those mistakes. That's optimal learning. So who's paying for it? Well, uh, as an organization, we invest because we have been doing this for 24 years, right? Everybody in the market asks for money. Um, so we're making it free for those who will be willing to work on our project. So if you have every plans of completing the training and working on our project, all of these things will be free for you at the time of enrollment. You will enroll with a $500 refundable security deposit against which you're getting all of the six pillars plus your security deposit is refunded once you complete the training and start working on our project as our employee. Okay, whether you are US or Canada, well, US being a 25 trillion economy, there are more job opportunities are available. Canada being a three trillion economy, uh, it's a small job market, but thanks to pandemic, thanks to China, everything is remote. So you can be in Timbuktu, and you can apply for all the jobs across the country, whether it's US or Canada. That's our sixth pillar. Next slide, please. So basically, uh, again, this is all public information. How many jobs are there? How many jobs can you see, right? This is all, we have taken the screenshot. So if you just put Python data scientist, you will have more than 7,000 jobs, close to 8,000 jobs on Career Builder. Next slide, please. Depends how the jobs are posted. If you put a data scientist in USA, you will have 30,000 job posting. I encourage you, urge you, spend your own time, see how many jobs are available in the USA or in Canada, and accordingly, you will come to all you need is one job. So whether it's a 7,000 or 10,000 or 20,000 or 30,000, please don't get encouraged or discouraged. You know, sitting at your comfort home in your pajamas at comfort of your home, you'll be applying for the 7, 10, 20, 30,000 jobs with the help of our sales marketing team. And you will be getting a job. This is how big the job market is. It's not like a two jobs and a five jobs or 50 jobs. We're talking in thousands. Next slide, please. So these are all job portals. I mean, again, you can see whether it's a 7,000, 30,000, 20,000. These are all jobs. You are looking, you know, the salary, 130, 150, 180, 200,000. It all depends upon uh, the client, the location, okay? The kind of skills they're looking for, whether it's a consulting job, full-time job, all of the above. Next slide, please. These are some of, again, it's a published reports, okay? This is, whether it's a LinkedIn, whether it's a Forbes magazine, whether it's DICE or Career Builder, NetTems, Indeed. These are all the marketplaces where they publish the information. You can see the need, increased need of data scientists across globally. You will see the compensation and that will keep increasing. Okay. Next slide, please. Same thing, the Forbes is saying the average compensation is anywhere between 140 to $160,000, depending upon who the client is, whether it's Facebook or Amazon or Walmart. Next slide, please. These are what our trainers are. So I appreciate all of you for your listening. Uh, my job was to give you some brief overview about the organization. And then uh, we have two trainers, two instructors for this track. Uh, what you read on the screen is what their experience is. So without any further ado, I will request 
uh, Ravindra sir to take it forward. Thank you for listening. Thanks, thanks a lot, uh, Dev sir. It's really a splendid explanation of the environment, uh, you know, environment created by the Guru Schools overall. So Guru Schools, you know, primary job is basically help uh, all you know unemployed uh, unemployed youths in North America and Canada, and we basically helping them out for last 20, 21 years. And um, Devji is basically our leader. He's a CEO of Guru Schools, and he basically keeps improving these practices, keep doing you know keep improving the overall policies and processes. Uh, to help many others as well. And that's how we basically started with this, uh, you know, idea of just the deposit and basically written even that deposit, uh, you know, written even that money also. And so that whatever you learn will be totality in free. You know, once you start working with Guru School and we start growing together and that's the kind of, you know, long term commitment we are looking for. So uh, the main idea here is long term commitment. We are not just training and running away from you. Unless you want to break the relationships, we are still like to work with you throughout the year plus time kind of time. This project support talks about mostly how we are supporting you even after the training. The trainings are basically a job, uh, you know, mm, pro job training rather than a typical training where you go to college or university and try to learn what is what, what is not what. We normally teach you whatever is there in the job market, whatever there is requirement of job market. So we more normally study the JDs, the job descriptions, then we'll basically prepare you. And that's how we are pro job market. So these are the two most important, you know, part and parcel of six pillars uh, Devji was really explaining. Thanks, thanks a lot for us. Uh, just to give my a brief introduction, I am, uh, you know, uh, 28 years plus experience. I worked in around 18 different countries, have uh, so many certifications, uh, teaching uh, basically Python data science from last six plus years. Um, I'm also working with, uh, you know, Atal Yojana in India for building entrepreneurs. So building data scientists within India is the prominent, you know, kind of uh, part and parcel of my portfolio for the last six plus years. And that's how I'm helping quite a few engineering colleges as well uh, in terms of their, uh, you know, data science, uh, curriculum building, um, uh, teaching um, there as a professor and so on and so forth. So that's me. Uh, Arunji, he couldn't uh, be a, uh, with us today. He might joining his, uh, you know, uh, in any minute, uh, he has some personal challenges, uh, you know, uh, and that's why, you know, I'm, I'm, I want to apologize on, uh, you know, behalf of him as well. Okay, let me move forward. So today's session is basically, we'll try to go you, give you a kind of a brief overview. Again, uh, this is not a kind of limited to whatever we have here. If you have any JD, which basically demands certain specific tool set, specific editor or specific library to be, you know, working with Python and, you know, or all these uh, data scientists or, you know, machine learning or artificial intelligence type of, uh, you know, uh, processes, projects or research work, we basically learn that as well. If I don't know, I'll learn for you or we'll learn together. And there are quite a few things we learn together. And that's why we, I normally like to, you know, refer these as a discussion session rather than, uh, you know, kind of training sessions. And that's how we normally refer. Even if you look at today's, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, description sharing, we uh, typically mention it as in sessions, not as in training or something like that, right? Yeah, training is an invite uh, idea, but prominently these are like discussions, how I can basically get that job of data scientist and how, how I'll work day in, day out, rather than just giving, you know, uh, a different type of definitions and blah, blah things. So this is more pro practical and less theoretical that's what uh, we also you know bank on this scenario because we want you to prepare for a job market rather than just keep learning throughout your life again now i have seen there are persons who are getting 280k per annum as well as uh, you know data scientist goes and i would like you to start on those levels as well the few slides which uh, we are saw these are like kind of fresher data scientists but if you really get a good, you know, experience, if you really, you know, polish yourself in terms of interview, you can back a really good offer. And that's what we've seen in previous batches and all. Okay, so let me start giving uh, giving you overall overview in terms of, uh, you know, what we learn in overall these Python data science course, whatever we created. Again, this is not limited to, but I'm just giving you an idea. So we normally start with Python. We'll try to understand the environment of Python um, towards the data scientist and, uh, you know, towards those, uh, you know, requirements on all those things. So we normally have a kind of a scientific computing approach and data analysis in terms of uh, how you can work it uh, on these levels with a Python. Then we work with data science. 
So what is data science? We'll try to understand what is data science, how machine learning helps to, you know, uh, build better data scientists, how we can use a pre-programmed uh, libraries you know, for machine learning. That's kind of uh, teaching the machine to keep learning on the basis of event plus response and those kind of scenarios. Then we have general software development in terms of what IDs are better, what IDs comes with the lab, you know, libraries, what are the IDs uh, really best in a you know, couple of um, years before and so on and so forth. So we'll look at the history also. Then definitely we're going to learn NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Sci-Fi, Scikit, and a you know, couple of other st statistical models, uh, including you know, uh, TensorFlow from Google and Cognitive Library from Microsoft. So these are all uh, famous and you know, really used library throughout the current market in North America as well as Canada. Okay, and then uh, let me move forward. Oh, come on. Then we have, uh, we predominantly use Jupyter, which have come a long way. Jupyter is uh, almost, I think, um, started with a singular notepad like editor or kind of better than notepad scenario. Now it's really, uh, you know, um, a company um, really acquired a good position in Python data science market in terms of one of the most pre, uh, you know, configured library comes with Jupyter. So we don't have to really keep you know installing new uh, parts and pieces progressively so it's a kind of one environment where you get maximum type of uh, you know uh, libraries pre installed then there are uh, you know uh, others like uh, you know even i like anaconda so if you are well versed with uh, uh, you know boldland c or other such uh, editors anaconda comes near to that uh, if you look at Python data science type of, uh, you know, environment, so Anaconda will learn and most of the, you know, data scientist uh, type of, uh, you know, project work, hands-on uh, workshops will do through Anaconda. Jupyter will start with Jupyter and then we'll move to Anaconda because Anaconda has that, you know, specific ID, which normally everybody use, uh, even, you know, for C, uh, for um, uh, other, uh, you know, environment, even Java, uh, you can use uh, Anaconda for Java development as well. So if you want to use the similar, uh, you know, uh, environment, then I believe uh, Jupyter, uh, sorry, Anaconda might be better fit for that. So we might, uh, you know, work on Anaconda. So Jupyter and Anaconda, these are the two things which we normally, uh, basically um, use as far as our inter internal development workshops hands-on programs and so on and so forth so let's try to understand what is data science we, we talk about a lot but still the industry is trying to define this word data science because see when you when it comes to science you are inventing a new thing you are doing research right similarly here also you are trying to uh, kind of do a research and uh, try to understand a kind of scientific way to solve uh, problems you normally start with repetitive ones and then you invent a way to uh, you know basically get this repetitive work clamped with the solution and then the solution does that work for you so you don't have to do it again and again for you in good old days if i can give an example there was a process called end of the day for each and every bank whenever they close down they synchronize their data which is collected locally to a centralized server and this is really was a process and it used to call end of the press processes or EOD. But last for three, four years, these processes have become absolute because now we do real time data synchronization with data science, with machine learning. These are all laborious repetitive process. So what we did, we built a data scientific solution and get rid of those, you know, waiting time for a day. So whatever account synchronization happens, it normally happens in a seconds or most of the, uh, in the worst scenario in minutes. Even if you do a kind of, you know, um, a transfer like Western Union transfer from North America to China, North America to Japan and any other, you know, across country data transfers are now happening in real time. This is what the blessings of data science. Data science is a relatively new field and it deeply rooted to statistics and decision support system. So what we are enhancing here, the decision support system, all these synchronization help all these financial and non-financial institutions to basically do better work, do modern work effectively, to take the decisions effectively. So it's a kind of decision making process, decision support system we are building through data science. And this is really great. It helps a lot. Even at Guru Schools, we have a good number of chatbots implied in our, you know, implemented in our websites, which help us to basically check out who is a really interested candidate, how we can help him or her in a progressive nature. We specifically take a pride in basically mentioning here, we normally work with, you know, 
female portion of uh, you know uh, enthusiast who have uh, really devoted their career for child upbringing child nurturing and all those things but now we want to help them in return in terms of get you know um, appreciating their efforts spent on you know um, all these uh, you know family duties and that's how we help uh, you know uh, if you look at our overall uh, you know guru school uh, employee base also we have maximum number of women's working for us working with us slowly steadily progressively and we take a pride in that so if you're a woman yes you'll find many you know um, um, what you can say a counterpart colleagues here to work with you so please don't uh, you know be shy or something like that um, well, a data scientist is a multidisciplinary skill. So we have, you know, you need to have some sort of a domain knowledge. Uh, you need to understand all of these tool, tools and techniques. You should have a kind of mathematical background also. So if you are not a mathematical background or a statistician, or if you dislike math, then this might not be a right fitment for you. Again, uh, you might spend some time because this is one of the most topping job as far as North American market is concerned. Believe me, if you look at Google's data scientist pay, uh, payouts, they are above and beyond 250K per year. And these are the one of the best employees, uh, employees in the world, right? So that's how we normally uh, try to get good number of enthusiasts. But if you really, uh, what I can say, if you hate math, then this might, might not be the right career track for you. I'm just, uh, you know, um, expressing my um, thought process here, expressing my learnings here. Again, I don't want to, you know, discourage anybody. Okay, let me move forward. Then we have um, what type of methodologies we use in terms of data science. We normally go with the programming. How do you, you know, uh, build those uh, statement programs, class libraries? Then how do you prepare the data? Data retrieval is an, um, you know, uh, data retrieval with efficiency is one of the most prominent processes of data, uh, you know, data scientist because you work with exemplary big data, and that's why we need to have really efficient data trans uh, transaction processing. That's why we use something like exploratory data analysis. We do model development in terms of we build efficient database models. Then we of course have those testing whatever required in terms of the data throughput efficiency and so on and so forth. And of course we work with business leaders because all these new solutions we are normally um, building for high transactional system where we normally talking talking about a petabyte of transaction per day kind of scenario. And that's how this is a really a kind of uh, top notch developments uh, what we are lo looking for and with a scientific approach this is not a programmers uh, world this is above and beyond a programmers world uh, above and beyond engineers world we are talking about scientists here then whatever we are trying to achieve here we are trying to achieve a solution a product precisely if you can product is a kind of independent solution which can be portable scalable deployable and blah blah things if you look at continuous solution or support it can be an evolutionary thing product are normally released uh, at a particular date and if you want to get a latest version you might go next version or so on so forth so that's why product is more manageable and they are more, more portable deployable than a kind of continuously evolving solution that's why these guys I means a data scientist they mention their you know outcome in terms of product or a result which can be packaged and shipped to each and everybody then of course we have continuous feedback continuous evolution but as it mentioned here we normally build a product and we evolve the product or we upgrade the product and that's how data scientists are normally progressing in today's day-to-day -day world okay so that's how we achieve our continuous improvement let me move forward then yes um, I'm, i have tried to give a couple of you know description in terms of these library we use why numpy well we use numpy for multi-dimensional arrays this is the basically the best data throughput mechanism we built in the terms of Python and whatever, uh, you know, a specific database. There are some specific database uh, patches for these libraries also. So it works out the overall data throughput really builds uh, on top of efficiencies uh, and encryptions, the securities and everything. That's why NumPy is one of the most, uh, you know, used uh, um, uh, data throughput libraries in Python to process heavier data in terms of statistical calculations. Then we have pandas. Pandas is basically kind of a mix and match in terms of uh, building the visual modeling, sorting, slicing, aggregations. In terms of business calculations, we use panda and present some really good visual after effects. So that uh, if you want to present your data in terms of, let's say, you know, uh, pie charts, 
dynamic pie charts, real time pie charts and so on and so forth. So this way it really helpful uh, to you to match the business requirement with your data scientific thought process, data scientific solution making. Okay, let me move forward. Then of course we have Matplotlib, one of the oldest libraries. This library was previously started with a C and they used to call it MATLAB. This was uh, like the library in evolution for almost 50, 60 years now. And Python adopted that MATLAB with the Matplotlib library, which is converted for, uh, sorry, which is adopted specifically for machine learning in terms of event response based um, artificial intelligence or machine learning in terms of educating the machine for repetitive, you know, events and response kind of thought process. Uh, if I may explain the overall uh, Boston Dynamics, it's a, uh, you know, uh, first commercial robot manufacturing um, organizations in Boston, Massachusetts, uh, use Matplotlib very heavily to uh, program their robots in terms of event response type of thought process. And that's why this is uh, one of their, you know, best selling commercial robot called Bot, B-O-T Bot. Then there are other uh, really great robot called Alt Atlas and so on and so forth. These are, you know, uh, available in their uh, website of Boston Dynamics. I'm not selling Boston Dynamics robots here. I'm trying to tell you how this, uh, you know, simple library can be used in communicating and using these commercial robots now uh, nowadays. And that's why uh, I'm really proud uh, to know Matt Potlip from my early, you know, CC programming days. And we used to have Matt Lab in terms of uh, you know doing the um, math crunchy work uh, for engineering um, you know scientific projects at that time so it's really evolved a long way because we are working with something like internet of things we are working like robotics embedded system so even a small chip uh, under your skin can talk to these uh, you know uh, health um, um, healthcare products today like the smartwatch which is just uh, you know touching your screen from uh, skin from outside uh, can understand the you know um, breathing rate can understand the blood pressure can understand the sugar level and so on and so forth so that all these healthcare professional can uh, basically work with you on day and day basis and this is basically from something like seaborn so seaborn is basically more towards statistical uh, you know event triggering system like we talk about the blood pressure, sugar monitoring, and so on and so forth. So most, you know, uh, sports bet embedded system, they use C-Bond. And these C-Bonds can basically respond to these devices in terms of any specific, you know, updation, any specific triggers for certain events in terms of response, give it to be, uh, you know, give a specific response, which is, uh, you know, developed or programmed in that you know, uh, solution and so on and so forth. So these are really great libraries. We're going to learn together. Skill and uh, skill. Scikit is one of the, you know, um, kind of library build on some libraries. So these library use NumPy, SciFi and Matplotlib together for building some specific solution for classification, regression, clustering and the validation models, etc. Again, we're going to learn these things with different programming thought processes as well. Now, uh, I think enough of, you know, me speaking, um, um, if you have any questions, uh, you can start asking right away and I'll be really glad to help you out uh, in terms of how we can, you know, um, customize our uh, program, uh, customize our uh, uh, these sessions better day by day and we keep evolving. We do have a previous recording also, but as Devji clearly said, these are previous recording and the, uh, you know, uh, participants they've asked some questions they've got their confusion cleared but it's not the same for you right so with the new sessions even we learn new things we adopt new things we adopt quite a few good libraries uh, you know uh, months after months because the way data science field is improving moving for in leaps and bound you have to have the latest version of libraries believe me and you need to learn even new libraries there's a new library coming in every quarter and that's how we have been progressing for last three odd years. So there are hundreds of libraries available for the data scientists. And there are hundreds of platforms also available, be it something like Python data science, be it something like R, you can use it for data scientists as well as artificial intelligence, machine learning, then Microsoft have their cognitive network and so on and so forth. So we're going to learn all these things, how the environment is improving, how we can improve together. Okay, and that's how, you know, uh, we'll basically keep discussing. I'm a talkative person, so please stop me if I'm, you know, uh, talking too much. Let's go move on to the questions. Please, you know, um, feel free to ask if you have any questions for us, and I'll, uh, we'll be glad to help you out. 
Okay, thank you, Ravindra sir. Uh, uh, this is in a fast forward mode, what you will be learning uh, in this Python data science track. As I said, there are two trainers. Uh, Ravindra sir will be doing more of a uh, data science, AI machine learning part. And Arun sir will be taking more on the Python programming part. Uh, the FAQs are primarily some of the previous sessions we have had candidates ask. That's what we have tabled it. Uh, but we would love to have an interactive session. Uh, you can either ask a question or you can put it in the chat note. Uh, we will take these questions on behalf of you. Mm. Um, from Bani, Bani Brata Roy. Good morning, good morning. Okay. Uh, Bani Brata, the email to reach is training at the redguruschools.com. Uh, that's where you will send your inquiry if you have any questions. We have a team of experts who will be guiding you uh, further. Uh, in case you want to basically uh, call us, the number is also there on the flyer, 908-367-7000. So either this phone number or uh, that email, you can refer us. That is for Bani Brata. Uh, so basically this will be a 12 week of well, a training. Well, it depends how interactive and how involved the training is, but at least for three, three and a half months, maybe four months, this training will be uh, clubbing the Python, as well as data science, machine learning, AI. Uh, it all depends upon the pace at which uh, the participants wants to move. If all of you have already learned Python, then we can wrap it up in less than three months. But many of you wants to deep dive in first in Python and then in data science, then we are talking about three and a half months to four months. Seven sessions a week. Uh, so basically, three technical sessions, two reference-ready resume preparatory sessions, and two job placement sessions. Okay, so I'm going through some of the chat. Uh, okay. Anybody else? Uh, there are about 33 of you. So I see somebody raise their hand. Deepak. Deepak, sir, go ahead. Yeah, hi there. Good morning. Um, so my question is like, I have interest on learning the data science and the Python, but in terms of prerequisite, what are exactly needed? Because my background is like, I'm in biotechnology masters, right arm in banking, being an investment advisor. So I'm looking to use the data science or the knowledge, which I will gain from this course to this field. But I wanted to know in terms of the prerequisite, which I basic, I should have the understanding or is it okay not to have and still I will be able to learn it? Not maybe in four months, maybe in five months. Okay, it's a loaded yeah. question. The answer is in the question, okay? What you want to learn? So uh, if you look at the flyer, you will see there is a part of programming skill which you need to adhere to. And there is a part of functional skill which you need to adhere to, okay? For programming skills, obviously, Python is what you will be learning. Okay. Look, nobody learns in mother's home, right? Do you agree? Whatever you said, you are working in uh, yeah. biostatistics or investor banking and all. Uh, you didn't learn that uh, uh, day you were born. You worked towards it, right? You right. took some education, you took some training, then somebody gave you an opportunity, then you had a mentor and you were a mentee and the mentor taught you, right? And everything is mundane, yes? Whether it's cooking or driving or talking, correct? As well as learning. So then what happens is, it's not watching a movie, right? You watch these things one time, two time, three time, five time, 10 time, you catch up. 
So what is the answer is, if he wants to be more of a functional guide, data scientist, meaning looking at the data, scratching your gray sales, coming up with the permutation combination, and coming up with the data models. That's all functional track. Okay, meaning, let me rephrase it this way. You're a business analyst in a data scientist. You're a data scientist, business analyst. Are you with me so far? Yes. Okay. Uh, now, that is you're a functional person. Now, you could be a techno-functional person also, where having a Python programming experience and then inferring about the data and then creating the models and giving them consultative guidance to the C executives is what a techno-functional data scientist will do. A functional data scientist will consult the Python programmers, seek the input based on those inputs, will create the models present to the management. The techno-functional person, will, he or she will do it by themselves. Needless to say, the techno-functional people will make more money than the functional people. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Does that answer your question, sir? Yes. Okay. Meaning, you know, which side he wants to become, right? Technical side, functional side. All of you have your own, basically, framework of learning, of grasping yeah. appetite the client requirement, work requirement. And based on that, you know, you will adhere to that learning, right? Now, it's like a buffet place, right? Veg, non-veg, uh, Indian, Mexican, Thai. Uh, depending upon your liking and your uh, eating, uh, whatever, preferences, you can eat it all or you can eat some. Yes, that's what it is. So it's an ocean of learning. What she wants to pick, what you want to learn as a candidate, you decide, sir. Plus, you can always fall back. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of recording. Mm -hmm. So the key here is not to go blindfolded. Okay. The key here is fall back on the recording, understand. See, the day one of the previous training track, day one of this training track will be more or less similar. Yes. Even if you were to see the introductory session, the past introductory session, you will see more or less the similar talking, whether it's me or the Ravindra sir, who are doing. Right? Of course, there'll be minute upgrades and changes because every six months, 12 months, a new release comes in and we accommodate, you know, we are, we are a consulting company, right? Unless you make money, we can't make money. So the focus here is always on your marketability, your placement and your job. So this is all job geared learning and earning. Right? If I cannot place you, then I'm, you know, I'll lose my shirt. We'll have to close down the operations tomorrow. Right? The key here is all of this because these are all over 500 people are coming in, and we have this large army of people from the trainers to the enrollment specialist to the HR, talent acquisition, sales, marketing, accounting, finance, immigration, the whole army of these people. Right? On our payroll, month on month, so. The more and more of you get placed, the more and more you start making money, the more and more we recover our expenses and we make money also. All right, thank you. Uh, A-C-H-R-A, so I will pronounce that as Achra. Yes, Achra, how are you? Ashra. I have a couple of questions. Go couple ahead, questions, sir. please. A couple of questions, please. On the, on the flyer it says here six week, six to eight weeks, but you were just saying right now it could be up to three, four months. I understand that uh, it depends on the, the pace and all that. Correct. Uh, so, so I'm kind of confused. Uh, you know, uh, is it eight weeks or is it three, four months? Well, it, it all depends upon the candidates. You're, you're right. I mean, I already explained. So if it's a slow moving pace track, it will go to 12 months, uh, 12 weeks, 12 to 13 weeks. If it's a fast moving track, like all of you come, you know, with the knowledge of Python, meaning that I don't have to have a session on Python programming, then we'll wrap it up in eight weeks. Okay, so, okay. so is, is, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but is Python a requirement for this course? I, I thought you, you, you would be covering Python. 
you heard you heard from the previous scholar the deepak it depends upon what you want you want techno functional learning you want functional learning we cover both okay so so you can skip python and you can focus on a functional business analyst functional python data scientist or you want to learn both so if you want to learn both it will be a 12 13 weeks if you just want to focus on the basically uh, the functional python data scientist like a ba python data scientist will be 8 weeks okay, okay. and it, my it depends question. it depends what you want sir okay and my last question because uh, with my hr guy he told me that this um, this course would meet uh, two to three times a week, and you were saying seven times a week. So again, I'm confused there. No, no, three three sessions. No, he's right. He or she. Who's your HR, sir? Uh, I have it on my email. I forgot his name. Okay, no problem. So if you paid attention, why there are seven sessions a week? Okay, three technical sessions. So what the HR said, you must have asked how many times Python data science course is repeated. Yes, that must be a question. The answer is the same as what the HR said, three, okay? Now, there are also two reference-ready resume preparatory sessions. This is the team along with the trainers who will guide you, show you our projects, show you our clients, show you that practical knowledge, you know, looking at these projects, our internal, external projects, you are getting that teething into this, how to build your resume, what to write, what not to write, because your resume is your face, right? If your resume does not have the required bells and the whistles, basically, you lose your sheen. Now, there are two sessions a week on that. And then there are two sessions or a job placement session. Now, these are sales and mass. So once your market ready, right? Uh, your resume is ready. You're halfway through your learning. You have gone repeated fast forward more the previous two, 300, 400 learning, and you want the job like yesterday. Again, Everybody has a different uh, learning. Everybody has a different appetite, how soon or how easy they are looking for a career. Somebody wants a job from the day one. Somebody is okay after six months also. So depending upon that, you will attend the job placement session. Then the job placement session, the sales, marketing, HR, talent acquisition team is basically marketing your candidacy, your resume and the jobs and accordingly you can apply for those jobs. So these are the seven sessions, technical three sessions. So what HR said is right. Uh, but only technical learning will not help you get a job. So you need to also need to attend two RRRP sessions and two a job placement sessions. The more and more these sessions, each of these are separate learning. And the more of the more this you attend, uh, basically your marketability increases, your learning increases, uh, and your placement objective is also optimally gets high. So when, when does the, the new batch start for this one? And what time you, is it doing? So, so basically, uh, we just finished the past batch. I think there is one week of breather. So this was the week of breather. Uh, so the next batch will be mid of uh, February, if not. Arun and Ravindra, uh when is the next batch ravindra sir yes sir uh 15 is a will be a right uh, thing because uh, yeah, okay. uh, there are some those challenges uh okay. that's why you know, we, we so some of these people still needs a revision though the training is finished some of these people are a little behind their learning so they are having additional sessions this week and next this coming week uh so 15th is what uh, we are starting a day here and there might happen See, the intent here is not to just leave you once we are done, right? We stay with you towards your entire journey of your career. Uh, so we understand not everybody will be uh, proactive and intelligent and, and, and understand there are some slow learners also. So we always give one or two weeks of breathing time. So 15th is what we are looking for, for the next batch to start for Python data science. That's good. And uh, what times of the week and the uh, what time uh, of the day and the typically, week? Typically, typically three sessions a week at 9 p.m. Eastern time, either Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. That also we try to see everything is in consultation with the candidates. Do you agree? Because you need to have your time availability. The trainers need to have the time availability. So it's a mutual decision. Uh, or sometimes, you know, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, 
right? Or or Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it all basically with majority rules. So majority of the students will agree to the timeline and will conduct the weekdays learning is typically 9 p.m. Eastern time, say 9 to 10.30 or 9 to 11. The weekend is more flexible. So sometimes people want to do catching up, revision, right? Extra sessions, all of these things we do Saturday morning, our time, Saturday uh, uh, evening or Sunday morning or Sunday evening. Again, subject to the availability of the trainers as well as the candidates, sir. Is you are like a kid in the candy shop. You can use, you can eat all what you want. That's okay. Ashra, does it answer your question, sir? Yes, there thank is you a, very much. The, there is a group thank created. You. you will be in that group along with you. I think there are seven or eight people already enrolled. And then we'll have the, uh, the trainers will have a call with you, understand the timeline and this, because many of you will be working or you may have this challenge, that challenge. So we'll try to accommodate as many uh, suggestions as we can. And accordingly, they will come up with a format, the days and the times. And then you will know uh, when to attend the session, sir. And then that will be posted in the group. So you can always look at that Python data science group. And by reading it, you will know, okay, these days and this week, of course, health issues, vacation, you know, some other emergencies uh, that can deviate uh, and get replaced by some other date. Okay. All right, uh, Francis, Ashra, have I answered your question, sir? If I have, put your hand down so I know I'm... Yes, yes, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Francis uh, uh, Mandarin. Uh, yeah, uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, actually, my question is like, uh, so you told me like uh, the, the it depend upon the candidate, how much time will it take to the, the program? So my uh, doubt is that if you, when we enroll, it's as a group, right? So do, yes. we, do we divide it into two groups, like this group one, three months and one group one, two months? So how we know that uh, which category we will be? Good question. So say, for example, there was a person, I think, Sandeep, right, if I'm not wrong, uh, who asked me the question before. Deepak, Deepak, I think, sorry. So Deepak only wants to do functional, right? So we'll start with the Python programming. Example I'm giving, okay? okay? He may not sit through that six weeks of Python programming. Okay. Once the Python program is done, then he will join the functional side of data science, like a BA, functional data science group. Okay. Understood, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so sorry. first we start with Python, and then we move on on the okay. data science part. Um, I have one more question, actually. So um, it's regarding. Um, I just attended one RRP session, like the resume ready preparation. So um, I didn't get like the because I have seen some candidates showing up their resumes with the the thing. But I'm not sure, do we, during our technical session also, do we get training on the RRSP, uh, RRP or just on the on that? Francis, you are our enrolled student? Yeah, I'm enrolled. I already enrolled. Okay. So, sir, uh, all of your questions will get answered either by the trainer or by your HR. You're in that group. So always feel free to reach out. You know, you should know who your HR is. I guess uh, you do. Yeah, you I... Should contacted the HR regarding the resume. So what she said, uh, ask the trainer regarding the okay. how to make the resume. So that's Correct. why- So that, are, that happens in the RRRP session, sir. What I will do, uh, post this session uh, today or tomorrow. Uh, if you need some guidance, uh, put a call. I will have the, who's your HR, sir? Nalini, madam. Nalini. She yes. has a death in her family. So she's out for four days. Her, her father passed away. So, so give me a few days. Uh, if not, Nalini, Nalini works with Poonam. I will have Poonam talk to you and the trainer, and we'll guide you further. Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I uh, can I recommend it, sir? Yes. Yeah. And normally, uh, Francis, the way this happens is basically see the uh, resume preparation session. There is a structured uh, or you know best practices format uh, taught to you by HR. But there are some technical inputs, right? Like, uh, let's say, which, uh, you know, um, data library have you used? Or where you can, you know, right. um, sh showcase your, uh, you know, mastery, right? And these yeah. type of structure, uh, we will guide you. 
Again, it's a mix and match of technology plus trading. If okay. you're not speaking, could you please mute? I don't know who's speaking in between. Yeah, so this way, it's a mix and match of technical as well as HR. So we need to work in cohesion, right? So sure. uh, we might have a joint call and we might review your resume in terms of how it's coming out in terms of, because it's the best marketing material we need to build, right? It's like kind of your sales document, if, if I may say so. Don't, don't, don't feel it otherwise. I'm just trying to, you know, uh, uh, make you understand the basic need of these resume preparatory uh, sessions and trying to match it to a level where the technicality should also help you progressively. Okay. Sure, sure. Could you understand that, sir? Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Have I answered your confusion? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. That's fine. And as uh, Devsar have clearly said, let's have a call together. Means, sure. you know, you, me, and Nandini, ma'am, because they are, there are a bit of challenges going on here and there. So, please pardon me for this, you know, delay. And we'll start it, uh, you know, in a moment, really. Don't worry on that part. Okay. okay. I'm there with you. And you, if you are in the group, you can directly PM me anytime. And I'll be yeah. glad to answer all your questions, sir. Please okay. don't wait. Okay. Uh, the, uh, you know, group is there to communicate, right? Yeah, yeah, and I'm, I'm really sorry, you know, I couldn't uh, get in touch with you earlier. Please That's pardon right. me for that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Francis, we together, you're in the Python. Work. Yeah, you're in the Python group. You know Ravindra, and then you can interact with him along with Nalini or the other team member. Thank okay. you. Uh, okay. Mudassar Malik. Mudassir Malik. Yes. Uh, hello. How are you? Okay. Yes, sir. So my question is related to if uh, someone like a. Uh, you already answered this question but just want to make sure uh if someone is already have a python and the background of data science so can you guys enroll him before that like before the completion of the course and what's the scale of uh, like you're gonna scale the student like he's uh, on 10 out of 9 he's ready for the job or not so what's the scale for that what is the rephrase the question one more time with us said for me Okay, so my question is, if someone is uh, having a Python background and okay. data science background, so okay. is it must to have to take a whole uh, six week course? They, they will be enrolling in our, we only place people who enroll in our academy. That's okay. number one, right? So it's like I produce 500 children a year and these 500 children, then we, once they're done with their learning, we work towards their earning, okay? And all of these things, hand in a glove, goes in parallel, okay? So, of course, there are many people who have taken training by somebody else, but, you know, they forget to ask them question, how will you place? So, they have been theoretically trained, but, you know, they, they do not have a job. So, these people will have an accelerated learning. So, even here, you know, we have a couple of hundred videos. So, any smart, uh, street smart uh, person using a common sense will go through this two, three hundred hours of Recording first, you know, get ready, like whether Sir Francis, you or anybody. Uh, then you will straight away jump to our RRRP sessions, uh, look at our projects, look at our ongoing projects, look at uh, the client references. Accordingly, start building up your resume. Once your resume is all built up with all the required bells and the whistles, then the marketing team is marketing you. So you can be up and ready for marketing basically week two in the second week after going through three, four sessions you can all be ready in the job market. And there are so many people do that also because somebody has to get a food on the table, right? So uh, depending upon the urgency, uh, there are people who get in the job market week two, week three, because they have all the background. All they're looking for is that little tweaking, little mentoring and little guidance towards launching themselves in the job market. So you can start in two weeks or three weeks. And there are other people they're slow pace, they don't know nothing, they, they don't want to invest time in the previous learning, previous videos, they just want to take a chill. They might take three months, four months, and then they will try to, because there is no urgency for them to make money. Uh, so they may take their own time. So everybody's different, as I said, right? Whether you want to job in your second week of enrollment or fourth week of enrollment or after three months or after nine months or after six months, you need a job, not us. So whether you want to sprint or run or brisk walk or sleep, you decide. We are there to basically uh, be with you. Ideally, I want all of you to run and sprint. <laughs> the sooner you get a job, the sooner we make money also. 
sure. but is individual you know i i cannot put a news selenium no madam wait people are still talking thank you and don't interrupt when people are talking i would appreciate that so depending upon sir your uh, timeline the hr the trainers the rrrp team the sales marketing team is at your perusal have i answered your question with the sir sir yes you did but i just have a little bit confusion that like if i had completed this course within 2 weeks or 3 weeks by watching the videos and clarification of everything mm -hmm. so then uh, you guys have do you guys have any scale that you guys check is it ready for the job market or not yeah so absolutely that's what happens that's exactly what happens in the rrrp team that's what happens in the rrrp sessions oh okay. that's what i'm saying absolutely okay. right. we gauge you uh there is a screening by the rrp team there is a screening by the hr team there is a screening by the trainers before we launch you sir okay all right and launch you in a sense before you uh get in that mode of uh, seeking a job opportunities got you absolutely okay. right you are you are my ambassador so if you are not ready if you fall flat on your face is as good as i am falling flat on my face right exactly. so we don't want to do that absolutely yes sir there are enough checks and balances at every step every junction will be happy okay all right so my second question is related to h1b uh, is it must to have a job for that or would you guys apply for h1b before job placement like h1b is for in coming march so... you are our student right so if you are you are our, you enrolled i think day before yes. yesterday yes right? i did already so so basically you are our child so so when the window uh of uh, this lottery systems opens uh, we will okay. be filing it now again we are not uscis right we are a vendor agency yes. we are yes. employer right. so right. you're filing about 300 350000 people will be filing for about 65 plus 20 85000 right. visas uh we will come to know end of march first week of april uh okay. the selection of the lottery system uh best scenario your name gets picked uh then we get 60 to 90 days for filing for your petition sir okay. so that is april may june okay. and then so you guys can apply for me in h1b absolutely also right? oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah i mean okay. you know the whole intent is to place you right so whatever okay. you need within the legal framework we are here to help you sir okay all right sure and my third question i guess you already answered but just want to make sure again that no problem at time session do we have any schedule for this like the uh, i don't know i'm if i'm wrong maybe i have heard before that uh, this session training session would be one in the morning and the other would be in the evening is it so no training sessions typically weekdays are all late in the evening 9 pm okay the ravindra sir what are the uh, timelines for python data science three sessions typically uh, normally i believe uh, you know tuesday thursdays and uh, saturdays 9:30 pm est to 11 pm est but again uh, we can accommodate if uh, you know we want to start at 9 pm okay. or if you want to have the sessions on monday uh, you know wednesday friday uh, it depends but normally thrice a week and um, 9:30 to uh, 11 that's the normal you know average uh, you know um, okay. what you can say time slot we have it all depends whether we have more est candidates more pst candidates est candidates will do 8:30 9 if you have more pst candidate then we'll do 9:30 because the timeline right there some of them are working so by the time they come back when they're done they're working they want to start the session so it's a mutual convenience between the candidate and the trainer but it will be mostly in the evening during weekdays weekend sir practice session catch up session mock sessions right revising sessions preparing you for the interview sessions all of that can happen morning afternoon night because weekend is more flexible okay all good questions Okay, have I answered your question, sir? Yes, you did okay. answer my question. Thank you so All much. Right. You're welcome, sir. Shalini, madam, now you can ask. Shalini, you have to unmute and you have to ask question. Hello. Uh, good morning, Dev and Ravi. Like, uh, thank you so much for um, for doing this on Sunday morning. uh like my question is actually i am planning to uh, join you but uh, i am not sure like which one to join still like i am in a deep dilemma between 
um, data science and uh, uh, selenium uh i i don't have prior experience work experience but uh, I, since i'm um computer science graduate like uh, i'm ha happy to learn python too like i tried python learning from youtube but i felt very easy um so i haven't tried selenium but my friends are suggesting me to study uh, data science because that's like uh, hot in the market right now and uh, getting the job is also a little bit better than selenium so can you please advise me in this? Madam, like, you have to okay. attend the counseling session, not here. There's a career counseling session. There are sessions meant for doing certain things. So plus mm -hmm. you have to do your own homework, right? You have to go through these sessions. You have to go through notes on selenium sessions. And then you have to join, madam, the career counseling session, which happens every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 noon okay. Eastern time. Okay, so uh, can is there any video uh, on your no, Python no. session? Yeah, there are more than 200 videos. Again, subscribe to our YouTube channel, madam, which I already mentioned five times. And okay. watch those 200 videos. Okay, so like uh, in your experience, like uh, anybody has done uh, from the scratch, like uh, um, like without prior experience of working? Everybody, from everybody the... works from scratch, including Ravindra, me, and all these okay. 500 students, right? Okay. Yeah. May, may, I'm asking, like, uh, is it easier? Uh, uh, the data yeah, science. Everything the is easy, provided you want to work towards it. Everything okay. is easy. Okay. Mm, thank you, sir. You're welcome, man. Everything is easy, right? Even to breathe can be difficult if you understand biology. But we breathe normally. Even to drink water. You know, you can suffocate and you can kill yourself. Even driving, you can kill yourself. Even cooking, you can blow things up, right? Even for taking care of children, we can mishandle them. So, but if you apply the proper caution, you will do well. So the same thing applies for your career also, right? So like we're careful in driving, like we're careful in cooking or nourishing children, we have to be careful in learning because this is where you're seeing this big fat wallet of income coming in, okay? So it's IT and we all are here to help you. Now, what to learn, what to do? Well, do your own due diligence and then attend our counseling sessions if not already. That's the format, okay? Um, anybody else have any other question? Okay, FAQs. Uh, Ravindra sir, can you go to FAQs? Let me cover some of the FAQs. So I'm just gonna fast forward so that we can wrap it up ASAP. Uh, when is this training starting? We already answered on 15th. Uh, but it's always 24 by 7. You know, this, this training tracks get repeated at least three times a week. Uh, along with this training, will you also guide help towards actual certification? Yeah, you get a diploma certificate from us. If you want to do the industry certifications, we will help you, guide you towards that certification also. Then uh, what it says, will you also help us towards market our resume and a job? <laughs> well, in spite of me saying we are a consulting company and we make money, only we make money. For some strange reason, people ask this very silly question. The answer is yes, because unless you make money, uh, we lose money, basically. You know, the more you stay in our academy, because we have all these trainers and HR, sales, marketing, talent acquisitions, you know. Uh, so ideally, I want to place you like yesterday. So the answer is yes, we will be marketing you. You know, we will be uh, guiding you and you will be getting a job with our help and you will be keeping that job with our help. Okay. Will you also help us towards project support? Again, uh, it's a repeat, but still people ask. The answer is yes. Uh, otherwise, you know, if you drop the ball, not only you will get uh, fired from the project, we also uh, cause uh, damage to the vendors and to our reputation, which nobody wants to have it. So the answer is yes, you will be getting the project support. Everything is mundane. You took support for walking, you took support for driving, you took support for cooking, you took support for, uh, you know, uh, taking care of your uh, child. And then you learned because the same activities you're doing every day, same thing here also. How many trainers you have got? Well, you have seen in the screen, there are two trainers, lead trainers, Ravindra and Arun. Uh, there are some backup trainers also, you know, depending upon their unavailability, they kick in. And plus, uh, I think we have 32 or 34 member uh, practice on Python data science. So these people are mostly working um, different, different projects across the country in US and Canada. 
and they will be guiding you 24 by 7 along with the trainers. Mm. How many trainers? Yeah, already answered. Are these going to be virtual session recorded? Technical training sessions all are recorded. These are all instructed live uh, training sessions, whether it's a training or RRRP or job placement. All of them are live interactive sessions. Then uh, additional practice sessions, preparatory sessions. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we use weekends. Uh, well, you know, there'll be a lot of learning we'll be doing. <laughs> so, so the answer is yes. A lot of repeat sessions, gap up sessions, practice sessions, interview preparatory sessions, post interview debriefing sessions. A lot of sessions happens. Uh, the key here is a job. So that's where until you get it, you know, you will be going through uh, all of these sessions. Uh, you also help towards preparing interview to find a job. Well, answer is yes. Uh, without which, how will you get a job? Uh, does it require any programming experience as a mandatory requirement? Well, if you wants to be a technofunctional Python programmer with data scientist, then you must, uh, you know, either learn Python with us or also do your own learning. If you want to be a functional data scientist, then that's not the requirement. So basically, this track can be a techno-functional or functional, depending upon how you want to do it. Uh, so depending upon that, you know, whether Python program is a requirement or not a requirement. Can you get a remote working job? Well, thanks to the pandemic, China, Corona, everything is remote uh, across the USA and Canada. Sure. Can you stay muted, please? Thank you. Uh, let me finish the FAQs before we wrap up the session. Uh, remote job, we are done. Any other, okay, there are training institutes charging money. Why this is free? Well, well, well you can pay money to those institutes and if you don't want to free it here. So, uh so it's free because you know it's very expensive otherwise that's where many people don't even try because it is that expensive and then last question uh, there is a 500 dollar deposit uh once we get a job through guru schools we get it back the answer is yes so yes these are the six pillars which you are getting the deposit will not make me rich will not make you poor if it does then you're in the wrong country uh, it is basically to get your foot in the door and make sure you do it right these are the flyer, these are the phones, these are the emails. Uh, some person keeps talking. Now you can ask a question at a time when the questions are asked. That time, please don't be in a sleeping mode, okay? So if you have any questions, raise your hand, ask a question, please. Any additional questions you have? Otherwise, we pretty much wrap up the session. Do we have anybody else asking any additional questions? There are 26 of you. No question. All right. Uh, Ravindra said anything else from your side? No, sir. I think we've covered everything. Okay. Let's see the chat sections again. Uh, no, no need, sir. There's a phone and email given here. If you have anything, please, you know, feel free to contact us yeah. anytime. So, so please uh, work with your HR, attend the counseling session. If you have any inquiries, rent to them. We are, uh, you know, a little over our allotted time and I have another meeting to go through. So I appreciate all of you for your uh, participation. Uh, we thank you considering it's a weekend. Uh, don't be a stranger. If you're in that group, you know who your HR is, you know what to do next. If you're not, drop us an email. Make sure to be part of our career counseling group and attend the uh, counseling session to get a further diving before that. Again, there are thousands and thousands of videos. Okay, there are videos you can be learning watching those videos for the next three years and you will still be watching our videos only. Those many videos, those many content we have. Okay, uh, <laughs> you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and you will get all these 3000 videos on your wall or you can filter them through uh, the learning and accordingly you can watch. Okay. Uh, if you subscribe us on uh, LinkedIn, you will see all the ongoing requirement on our career page, website, career page, or on LinkedIn, uh, Guru School's LinkedIn page. 
And uh, last but not the least, any further follow-ups, uh, there is an HR uh, in these groups will be assigned to you or he and she will guide you through. Okay, so thank you all for your generous time. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon and our best wishes in your decision-making. Thank you. That concludes our session.